Hi friends, I'm David from David O Yoga, and today I've got a 20 minute fat burning morning flow for you. It'll get your heart rate up, it'll get the breath and the energy moving, and it's super effective at burning calories and fat to help you reach and maintain a healthy weight. And we're gonna do all of this in 20 minutes while being loving and kind to our bodies and to our joints. Welcome friends. Just a couple things about today's class. So it's a fat burning workout, so we wanna get the heart rate up a little bit, which means the flow will be a little bit faster. So just listen to the cues, and if you get lost, don't worry about it. Just have fun with it. Find your way back when you can, or stop and rewind the tape, the tape, <laughs> and um, find your way back. The most important thing is to be kind to yourself and to have fun, right? Okay, let's begin in a nice easy seat. So you can sit in any position that feels comfortable, rooted, relaxed, let the shoulders fall away from the ears, sit nice and tall, lift the crown of your head, and then close your eyes and begin to breathe in through the nose and out through your nose. Bring a gentle awareness to your breath, feeling the rise and fall. If your mind starts to wander, that's okay. Just each time you notice, come back to a gentle focus on the breath. And begin to relax from the crown of your head across your scalp, the brow, your forehead. Feel all of the muscles around your eyes and forehead relax. Relax your cheeks and your jaw. Relax your ears. And with each exhale, feel any tension in the face and jaw melting and dissolving into the breath. Just surrender any resistance you find. As you inhale, blink your eyes open. So reach up to the sky and we'll take a big side stretch. So right hand grabs the left wrist and reach up and over to the right while keeping the left sit bone rooted to the ground. Big breath and reach. And as you inhale, rise up and we'll take it to the other side. Left hand grabs the right wrist and take it up and over. Again, keeping that left sit or the right sit bone now rooted to the ground. And you can turn to look up a little bit if that feels good. And inhale, rise up, reach into the sky, and make a cactus shape with your arm. Stick your tongue out, lion's breath. Ha! <sighs> nice. All right, we're gonna work into the spine, get the breath and energy moving a little bit with a kundalini twist. So make a bird's beak with the hands. Tips of the fingers come to the tops of the shoulders. As you inhale, we twist to the left, and as you exhale, twist to the right. Big, full breaths. You can close your eyes here, keep them gently open, whatever feels most natural. And relax, let the momentum of the arms swinging back and forth just take you. Inhale to the left, exhale to the right. The more you relax, the more release you'll find all the way up and down the spine. And now let's deepen the breath. Really feel the waves of breath washing through you. Nice, inhale, turn to face the front, sweep your hands up to the sky, palms meet overhead. Close your eyes and hold your breath for three, two, one. Exhale, let the hands float down to the knees, sit tall. Just take a moment here, relax. Blink your eyes open. Extend both legs long in front of you. We'll come into a 
forward fold, so feet about hip distant apart. Flex your feet here, press the backs of the legs into the earth as you reach up to the sky, and exhale, fold gently over the legs. Just let the upper body drape over the legs, and taking it nice and slow. When you meet a little resistance here, stay a while, breathe, and let your breath and gravity create more space. And begin to gently internally rotate the legs, feeling the sit bones spread a little bit on the mat and the knees turn inward a little bit. You can let the upper back round here and just relax your upper body, relax the head. Inhale, slowly rise, counter stretch, bend the knees, hands and feet come down, press into the heels and the hands, lift your hips and let the head fall back. Take a great big breath in through the nose, open mouth, exhale, <sighs> lower your sit bones and sweep your legs behind you. It's fine, tabletop, wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips and from tabletop, we'll go right into downward dog, curl the toes, lift the hips and push back down dog. Let's pedal the feet a couple times here, bending one knee, draw the opposite heel toward the earth and feel that beautiful stretch up the back line of the legs from the butt <laughs> all the way down the hamstrings, the calf into the heels. And coming to stillness, let's build a nice strong downward dog shape. So wrap the elbows gently in, bringing more weight to the index finger and thumb and feel the upper back broaden, the armpits hollow. Lift the tailbone, draw the belly in, the low belly, the navel, and push the thighs toward the back wall. So feel the heels drawing down toward the earth. Heels don't have to touch, just drawing downward. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, ha. All right, friends, let's flow. Remember, we're gonna move at a pace that's a little bit quicker than normal, so if you do get lost, it's no big deal. You just do your best, right? If you want to rewind and do something over, you can do that, or just make your way through as best you can. Have fun with this, okay? Here we go. Feet together, take your right heel to the sky. Really push through the heel, lift, lift, lift. And then knee into the chest, squeeze the knee toward your nose as you shift forward into plank pose, but keep hugging the knee, hovering, pushing. Inhale, take the heel back up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, squeeze it in. Inhale, take the heel back up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time, inhale, take the heel high. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward, and this time step through between your hands, bring the back knee down, sweep the hands to the sky. Great big breath in, make a cactus shape with the arm, breath out through the mouth. <sighs> Both hands come down, frame the front foot, lift the back knee, low lunge, and peel your right hand up to the sky, revolved lunge. Bring that right hand back down, low lunge, and then curtsy, left knee behind the right, wing the arms back. Inhale, step tall and strong, mountain pose. Palms meet over the head and slice right down through the center of the body, bow. Halfway lift, step the right foot way back into a nice long low lunge and step your front foot back and up to the sky, three-legged dog. Again, extend through the heel, lift, 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 and exhale, knee into chest, shifting forward into plank, but keep hugging the knee in. Inhale, take the heel to the sky. Exhale, knee into chest, shift forward, push into the earth. One more time, heel to the sky, three-legged dog. Knee into chest, shift it forward, and this time step through between the hands. Back knee comes down, and both hands to the sky. Great big breath. Cactus the arms, let the breath out through the mouth. <sighs> hands come down, frame that front foot, lift the back knee, low lunge, and peel the left hand up to the sky. Open the heart, gaze to the lifted hand. Bring that left hand down, low lunge, and curtsy, right knee behind the left. Wing the arms back, heart forward. As you inhale, step tall and strong, hands to the sky, and then let's sit low into bear pose. So reach the hands forward. So bear pose is like chair pose, only that we're a little bit lower, deeper. The butt is sticking out, and look at the position of my spine. It's parallel to the earth, just like the thighs, parallel to the earth, right? Now, let's globe the fingertips and staying nice and low, we're gonna do a little squat. 
bear walk <laughs> all the way to the back of the mat, moving slowly and staying really deep. Feeling the burn in the butt, in the hamstrings, good. All right, it's good for you. Now let's stay nice and deep at the back of the mat. Little bounce, little bouncy bounce, and then make our way back. Nice, big, bare steps. Making our way slowly back, staying deep. Once you get to the top of the mat, inhale, rise up. Reach your hands to the sky. Step your feet hip distance apart, and then lift your left foot and extend the left toes, holding the hips nice and level here. Now slowly step that left foot all the way back into crescent lunge. So we're deeply bent into the front knee and that back leg is strong and straight. Big breath, reach up. Exhale, slowly twist open to the right and keep twisting until the chest is facing off the right side of the mat. As you inhale, turn to face forward, palms meet at the heart, and we glide forward into warrior three. So wing the arms back, lift the left heel, and dip the left hip. So the hips and the chest are squarely facing the earth. Now staying balanced on that right foot, we rise up into one leg mountain pose. Once again, hands to the sky, extend the right leg, point the toes, hold it steady, and let's glide all the way back into crescent lunge. We're gonna do that whole thing once again. Big breath in, reach up. Exhale, twist open to the right. Keep twisting, nice and deep. Inhale, turn to face the front, palms meet at the heart, and we glide forward, warrior three. Wing the arms back, lift the left heel, dip the left hip. If you fall here, it's okay, no big deal. Staying balanced on that right foot, we rise up. One leg mountain pose, extend the left foot. I know that leg is getting tired, stay with me, float. The left foot all the way back, coming to low lunge this time. Hands come to the mat. Let's step back to plank pose and hold plank for a moment here. So push into the earth, wrap the elbows in, and come down to forearm plank. Forearm plank, draw the navel in. Tilt the bowl of the pelvis up so the tailbone lengthens toward the heels and breathe, press into the palms, the forearms, the elbows. This is such a fantastic full body workout, folks. Right here, just breathing, pressing, feeling. Keeping that strong core, inhale, press up, plank pose, and as slow as you can, lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck the toes, cobra pose, slide the hands back, lift the heart, and push your heart forward as you draw the shoulders back. Exhale, lower and take it back to child's pose, hips to heels. Take a moment, find your breath, relax. Come forward, tabletop, curl the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Slowly walk the feet all the way to the hands at the top of the mat, bend into your knees, wave up the spine, slowly with your breath, reach into the sky, and let's sit nice and deep right back into Bear pose, okay, so remember, thighs are parallel to the mat, butt sticking out, chest and spine parallel to the mat, globe the fingertips, and let's do our nice little bear walk. So the feet are a little bit wider than the hips here as we walk it back, nice and slow and plodding, stay nice and deep. Don't cheat on me, don't cheat on yourself. All right, back of the mat, let's take a little bounce here. Feel that, feel the butt burn, <laughs> feel the hamstrings. Oh yeah, it's nice. All right, now we take it back forward, nice and slow, just like a big mama bear. <laughs> All right, make our way to the top of the mat. As you inhale, rise, take your hands to the sky. Step, feet, hip distance apart. One leg mountain pose, take that right foot Lift the right knee and extend the right foot, holding the hips even. Slowly, with control, step that right foot all the way back into crescent lunge. Big breath in, reach tall. Exhale, twist open to the left and keep twisting here until the chest is pointing straight off the left side of the mat. Inhale, turn to face front, palms meet at the heart, and we glide forward into warrior three, wing the arms back, lift that right heel. Look down, feel the chest and the hips square. 
staying balanced on the left foot. We rise up, one leg mountain pose once again, extend the right foot, point the toes, and let's glide it all the way back into crescent lunge. You're doing great, stay with me. Big breath, reach up, exhale, twist open to the left. Oh yeah, reach, twist, breathe. Inhale, come back to face the front, palms meet. And let's take it one more time to that beautiful warrior three. Wing the arms back, lift the right heel, look down, breathe, relax. Stay balanced on the left foot, rise up one more time. One leg mountain pose, hands to the sky. Extend the right leg, point the toes, and we float back slowly into a low lunge. Beautiful. Step back plank pose. Again, holding plank here. Draw the navel in, wrap the elbows in, and let's come down to forearm plank. Work that core. So, press into the finger pads, the palms, the elbows, the forearms. Pressing so much, you feel the upper back lift a little bit and draw the navel in, tilt the bowl of the pelvis up, and breathe. You still with me? <laughs> all right, here we go. Press up to plank pose. Almost there, folks. Breathe through it all the way down to the earth. Untuck the toes, cobra pose, lift the heart. Push the heart forward and exhale, lower it down. Sink the hips to the heels. Child's pose, beautiful work. Let your forehead rest on the mat and slow your breath. You are powerful. You're beautiful exactly as you are right now. Feel that. Feel your inner power, your inner strength waking up. That's what the whole journey of yoga is. We're coming back home to the truth that we are all the things we seek already. We just have to wake up to that truth. Sit back to your heels and sweep your legs around me, in front of you rather. Let's take a great big wide seat, wide leg forward fold. Root the sit bones, flex your feet. As you inhale, reach into the sky, big breath. And as you exhale, let's take a nice slow fold, reaching the fingertips forward until they come to rest. And again, when you feel resistance in the forward fold, stay, don't push it. Just relax, close your eyes. And you'll be surprised at what a few moments of letting go of resistance does. You'll feel more space. And when you feel that more space, you can choose to stay or take it deeper making your way down to your fullest expression. Ease into it, relax into it, nice and long through the spine. Keep the sit bones rooted to the ground. Keep the knees and the toes pointing to the sky as you fold. Inhale, slowly rise. Feet come together. Let's make our way all the way to our back. Once on our back, draw knees into chest and give yourself a nice sweet hug. Close your eyes, take a little rock side to side. Feel grounded, feel supported by the earth beneath you. And then coming to stillness, take your feet up in the air. Happy baby, grab the outside edges of the feet. Push the heels gently upward as you pull the feet down so that the knees come toward the armpits. Let your low back relax and feel the low back and the hips and the sacrum find their way down to the mat or at least drawing down toward the mat. Come back to a little rock here. Breathe, relax. Take a great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Release your feet into Shavasana.
to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Move your wrists and ankles. And as you inhale, reach your hands overhead and stretch. From your fingertips to your toes, lengthen deep breath and feel your body waking up to a new beginning. Exhale, knees into chest and roll to your right side. Gently push yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat. Come to a seat and bring your palms to the heart. Close your eyes, rest, rest for a moment. Let the shoulders relax. And raise your thumb knuckles to the point between your brow. And we bow to one another in light and in love. Namaste. If you feel like you need a little bit more cool down, a little bit more stretching and opening, click the restorative practice next to me. I think you'll love it. Thank you. <laughs>